Welcome. In front of me, I have the Huawei MateBook D15, and today I will show you how to capture a screenshot on this device. Now, if you were running Windows 10, which well, this device comes with, uh, there is a really simple way that you can capture a screenshot. Um, and this works basically on every kind of uh, Windows. It does, it's not just specific to this one. Literally every Windows 10 has this built in. Unfortunately, it's not really well known, but the way you capture it is just super smooth and nice. So anyway, it's a key combo. That's why I kind of that's why I'm kind of recording this in this uh, super weird way, just so you can see the screen and the keyboard. And basically, what you want to do is press the Windows key right over here, Shift here, and S. So all three of those at the same time. And as you can see, it will gray out the screen. And from here, you can draw a shape uh, to create a screen snip. So by default, it's going to be in this mode right here. You can change it so you can crap basically a kind of free draw on the on the screen. You also have the option to, what is this? Uh, you can select an entire window. Uh, I believe this is a full screenshot. Uh, but honestly, I would advise you to keep it at the first one because it's probably the most convenient one. So as an example, uh, if you want to capture just a small part of, uh, of a screen, not the entire one, what you can do is, as you can see, you have this little pointer, click, drag, and once you let go, it captures it. Now, to actually save it, you will need to use some kind of program, for instance, like Paint, uh, if there is actually paint on here. Oh, there it is. So when you capture it, it basically goes straight to a clipboard. So you can paste it wherever you want. So uh, you could paste it into like Discord or stuff like that without any problem. Uh, unfortunately, if you want to save it, you need to go through a little bit of a hassle like pasting it somewhere in, for instance, like the paint right here and then saving it. But as you can see, there it is. Obviously, I'll quickly minimize this. Uh, obviously, like I mentioned, you can also take a full screenshot uh, with the same technique without actually needing to change this, uh, just so it doesn't add extra steps. So all you do is just go straight to the corner, click, drag all the way to the other side, let go. And if I go back to here and paste, you can see that this is the full screen now. So it just allows you to quickly take an entire screenshot or just a part of it. Uh, it's super convenient and you don't actually need to turn on anything. You just kind of use this uh, shortcut. So like I mentioned, Windows Shift S and you're good to go. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.